thought was my oyster, but I used the wrong fork. From whom is that? That's Oscar Wilde. Of course. And that that oh. is a quote that I used in my very first press release that I sent out in, oh, I think it was probably September of 1998. And I started my press release, the world is my oyster. And then I used the wrong fork, said Oscar Wilde. And then I talked about the importance of people learning proper dining skills in business situations. And then I went on to say that I was going to be conducting this dining seminar for the public. So it, that's... <laughs> of course, of course. That I, know very, I know that quote very well. Very good, wonderful. I didn't expect anything better than, you know, but you know, of course, every etiquette consultant should actually know this quote. And my second question is more of a trivia question. Which continent is the only one to not have ants? Ants. Ants. <laughs> oh my goodness, you're going to stump me on that. <laughs> oh, uh, we I have a lot of ants over here, I can tell you that. And I, I would imagine um, uh, Australia has ants. I mean, who doesn't have ants? Um, I'm going to just guess. A continent. Uh, a continent. Um, I don't know. You'll have to tell me. Antarctica. Oh. I, exactly. That's how I reacted as well. That's funny. Yes, but it has the word ant in it. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And the last question. Within five seconds, name as many head of states as possible. Heads of states? Oh my Four. gosh. You've got me on that. I was terrible in history. <laughs> Three, two, you know. one. I know that's just for fun. Whoa, you're still leading the leaderboard. Oh, well, okay. I, I, I won't be there at the top forever. I can tell you that. <laughs> So the first question is, what was the name of the first yacht you started below deck med with? Can you remember? Talisman Maiden. Talisman? Really? Yes. Oh, okay. I had something else in mind. Oh, wait. Wonderful. I thought it was the I Ionian Princess? Or oh, no, it was. It was the Ionian Princess. Was it? <laughs> I think Talisman Maiden was season two. <laughs> oh, it's fun. Okay. And the, and the second question, you probably laugh. What is moussaka? Moussaka. <laughs> moussaka is a vegetarian. Uh, no, no. It's a Greek dish with eggplant and <laughs> lamb mint. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> okay. And the last question is a five second challenge. Mm -hmm. So within five seconds, name me three islands in the Mediterranean. Five. Um, Santorini, Crete, and Mykonos. Wonderful. Great. <laughs> so we have two, <laughs> two points. It's just for I the should... support. I think you are leading, Hannah. You are leading now. Oh, but perfect. This, yes. Where does Wall Street get its name from? Well, you know, on the corner of Wall and Broad, there was a wall that was built and under a buttonwood tree, uh, they started the first trading of, uh, of those uh, securities. And so the name Wall Street was representative of that wall. Yeah. And of course, Broad Street was a wider street. And if you actually go down there and see that intersection, uh, that, that's, that's where it came from. The wooden wall Dutch colonists built. I'm impressed. I'm yeah. impressed. Yeah. Well, well done. One point. Who is the most followed person on TikTok? I use this question because you had a TikTok um, chat on salt, I yeah. think. It's a good question. So I don't know the answer to that. I did have those TikTok uh, entrepreneurs on. I was very impressed with them. I don't know the answer. I could guess. I would say Justin Bieber, but I don't know. Charlie D'Amelio. Well, okay. I didn't know either. Yeah. Within, and now to the last five second challenge. Within five seconds, name me as many lockdown trends as possible. Lockdown trends. Lockdown trends. Okay. Uh, Zoom, hand sanitizer, masks, uh, outdoor dining. And the last one is, uh, 
homeschooling. Homeschooling, exactly. Homeschooling, baking, etc. What is the difference between prêt à porter and uh, haute couture? Oh. Ah, that's a, that's a big difference. Prêt à porter, of course, is ready to wear. Okay, collections that we prepare and. and uh, six months before okay and it's uh, it's pret a porter is something that is more for every day okay mm -hmm. every day every day yes it can be expensive or um, uh, cheap but it's for you know, normal street okay for pret yes. a porter ready to wear okay to and wear. haute couture haute couture the, 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 the name is a french name as we know it's high fashion okay so it's a unique okay it's a unique uh, it can be one piece for this unique customer, you know, yes. and the, the many designers, the, some of the big brands, they have also haute couture, okay, uh, they, uh, here Versace has an atelier where uh, they are doing items, uh, haute couture, not only for the fashion shows during the haute couture fashion week, but yeah. they are doing during the year uh, special items for events like uh, uh, red carpet events, you know, and um, some haute couture is going more in this direction, more yeah. red, some red carpet style, okay, or special yeah. uh, dresses for yeah. special events. Yes. Mm -hmm. And pret a porter, it's uh, every day ready to wear fashion. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> Wonderful. And the second question, I think yeah. I know you're a football lover. You should actually know it. Yes. <laughs> Which defender was the backbone of the Milan team in the 80s and 90s, but was also for the national team till 1994? What, what was the name of the defender? He, wow. played, he played only in Milan. He never played somewhere else. Wow, that's a big question. I am here in Milan and I don't, uh, Frank, I don't know it. Franco Baresi. Franco Baresi. Yes. Franco Baresi. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, he was always in Milan. Yeah. <laughs> you are Italian, so me. Yes, I'm not Italian. You <laughs> I'm are half Italian. Italian. <laughs> Franco Baresi. Yeah. Just for fun. And the last question, within five seconds, so you have to really think quickly. Okay. Within five seconds, name me as many <laughs> films or series you know about fashion. There were films and, and there were series about all about fashion. Name me the names, you know, as many as Devil, uh, Devil Wears Prada, of course, Tiffany, and uh, there is a series now in the next the evening, I saw a Netflix series, uh, the one of Paris, the girl. Emily, uh, Emily. Yeah, Emily, yeah, Emily yeah. Paris. And then there are, um, there are, uh, I like a lot also documentary, you know, uh, documentary, not only movies, movies yes. uh, of Karl Lagerfeld, of yes. Versace, of Armani, Versace, Valentino. Armani. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we got it. <laughs> okay, Angelo. <laughs> Wonderful. The first question is always um, industry related. The second one is just a general trigger question. And the third one is more about fast thinking. So the okay. first one, what does shaking the head left and right in India mean? Yes. yes. Maybe or no? Yes. 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 Correct. Which country was the Caesar salad invented in? My tendency, I'd want to say Italy only because of Caesar, but I don't know. I thought California because I think that's in Berkeley where I first uh, had uh -huh. salad. It's in Mexico. It's the border oh. to Tijuana, the border to to uh, San Diego, and and oh, I right. thought California. Yes, it was an Italian okay. named called Caesar. Yeah, yeah. And now it's the fast thinking. Name me within five seconds as many budget airlines as possible. Fine. Ryanair, uh, Southwest, JetBlue. That's it. <laughs> yeah, we got three. Wonderful. We got three That's as the first question. Correct. Four points. Wonderful. 